In this video we're going to introduce you to computations and first we're going to start by introducing you to the syntax. That's the grammar that you need to know for writing computations correctly. That's all this video is going to do and we're going to point you to some tools that will help you as well. You really should um, content, don't get bored and say I'm going to turn this video off the minute you hear me say grammar. Uh, you really need to watch this video as a good foundation before you launch into the other videos or else you might be a little confused by what we're going to do. So most of what I'm going to do or what I'm going to show you I'm going to do from the component manager and from the hot docs help file. Go ahead and launch HonDocs if you haven't done so already and you can select the separation agreement, open its component file using the component manager and just go ahead and create a new component. Oops, let me hit cancel, didn't mean to edit. Create a new component. We'll choose computation variable at the bottom. Again, we're not going to be really writing anything that's valid in this particular video. Similar to the script editor, which you would have seen when you're working with conditional logic or dialogue scripting, you have a box when you're working with computations, and that box um, looks similar to those items. It has certain uh, areas that you can work in. As with all of our variables in Hot Docs or all of our components, it'll have a name. You can have some formats. Now, with similar, like I was saying, to the script um, scripting, dialogue scripting screen, as well as the expression screen, you'll have components. You will also have a list of models and operators. The models, um, there are two types. Instruction models, they tell Hot Docs to do something. Hot Docs hide this. Hot Docs um, show this. It's like telling your dog to go fetch the paper, and you expect the dog to do that. Now, expression models, the bottom list, is a little bit different. These are computations in and of themselves. Hot Docs find the age of something based off of a given date. And then Hot Docs gives you the result of that, the result being the answer. So result is something you're going to need to get used to. It's a word we use a lot in the Hot Docs kind of um, universe that just encompasses here's what this answer to whatever we're calculating is going to look like. Whether it has formatting or not, this is what Hot Docs is going to give you and what we expect it to look like. So um, talking, going back to talk a little bit about the syntax and really just talking about what we're doing. We do everything in the script box here. You can drag and drop items up. None of these I would do in this order. And you'll notice as I drag and drop things up, Hot Docs wants to, <laughs> sorry, I didn't select something valid. It, Hot Docs puts spaces between everything. So no matter what I'm doing, Hot Docs is going to put a space between what I like to consider a word. So I, I talk to my clients when I'm training them um, that this is like working with a sentence. see Sally run right you have a word you have a space you have another word you have a space you wouldn't capitalize it all but there you go you have a simple sentence we have a word we have a space we have a word this one here and then we have another space so part of the syntax in Hot Docs, one that most people don't pick up on, and actually this is one of the common errors, is they don't put spaces between everything that they're working with. Dragging and dropping will be your best friend when you first start working with computations. If you already know um, scripts, if you're work, if you've really worked in Hot Docs a long time, you don't have to drag and drop. If you're used to working in other programming language, VB.NET, something else, you're you're comfortable with typing, and you'll already know to put your spaces in. You can go through and you can type it in as long as it looks exactly as it appears in either one of these lists. You're good to go. Now, if you want to start typing but you don't know how it appears, you can do a Control Space and then double click and it'll start bringing that word in. All of those shortcuts are on your right, right click submenu. So the spaces are important. Another thing that's important with Hot Docs is coming in and going 
I'm just going to write something here. This is if this date the user enters is greater than today's date. Do something. This is another um, item that people forget to do is they forget to do the hard returns. So you can see here I have a hard return after this sentence and the next sentence and the next sentence. The hard returns um, are important. Put them in there even though you're used to other programming languages. If you've programmed before that you don't need them just put them in there and in the case of hot dogs. The other thing you need to get used to with hot dogs is we don't have a then keyword. Um, so there's no then in the hot dogs program. Now, um, with regards to syntax, some things do need to be in caps, some things don't. Models and expressions have caps. The You can see add is in caps in black and so is two. Items in red are replaced by that specific kind of data. So this can be replaced by either text or a text variable. This is replaced by a multiple choice variable. If I drag up an expression model, same thing. You'll notice though that this isn't in bold. It's just a matter of how it, it differs from an instruction model. It's in caps though, and this needs to be replaced by a date. The parentheses stay. A lot of people ask me, does it matter how many spaces I have inside the parens? If I do something like this, is it gonna mess it up? No, as long as you don't put extra spaces in the actual variable name, you're good to go. So that's some quick information about syntax. Operators are the same way. You can drag them up. We have and, or, not to make it more complex. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is if you need further information, go to your hot docs help file, look up customize a computation variable. There's a lot of information here about how do you indent, how do you do specific things with formats, so on and so forth. I would read through this. I would also also read through this one down below for understand and resolve syntax errors and templates. That's a that's a really helpful one for people. And understanding the hot doc scripting language. This gives you some rules, um, some information. For example, if you're writing a variable, um, if you're writing some code that has to do with a true false variable and you want to make it false. So we'll come back here. If that means that it's true, hot docs doesn't need you to put equals true after it, though you can, and that's perfectly fine. Some people need that. The thing you might not know is it needs to be in all caps. The word true is a function in the hot docs. It's a model in the hot docs program. You just don't see it in the model list. And so those are the types of things that you'll find in this really helpful um, article in our hot docs help is how do you do some of that information. The one thing I do want to point out is the first four items in the expression models are actually not expression models, they help. So how do you enter a date properly in your computation? You go, you select that date, you click OK. It puts it in the right grammar or syntax. As you start to get used to computations, you, you might use these less. If you want to know how do I enter a number the right way? It, it'll enter the number for you. Well, let's try that number now as text. Ah, look, it's in quotes. So that's one of the differences there. And then this is where you would have the word true or false and it would put it in caps. So if you need those hints, if you can't remember everything, that's okay. That's why we have a help file. That's why we have these videos. And that's why we also have these expression models to help you out. So one of the things that I would do next is jump on to some of those computation videos. We're not covering every computation you can ever build in Hot Docs. The ones we're giving you are examples specific to the separation agreement, but they'll get you started on um, some ideas and then you can move on from there. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one.